The floor system used in a school classroom consists of a 100mm reinforced stone concrete slab. Sketch the loading that acts along the joist BF and side girder A, B, C, D, E. Repeat again, we need to sketch the loading that acts along the joist BF and side girder A, B, C, D, E. First of all, we need to look at the picture and find the behavior of the slab, which acts as a one-way slab or two-way slab. To compute the behavior of slab, just divide the long side of slab on the short side of slab. If the result is less than 2, the slab behaves as two-way slab. But if the result is more than 2, the slab behaves as one-way slab. And now we go, the result of our example is 1.667. So, the slab will behave as a two-way slab. The second steps, we need to find the loads that acting on the slab. As we know that the slab is used for in classroom with 100 mm thick. Look at the table 1.2, minimum densities for design loads from materials, the density of concrete, reinforced stone is equal to 23.6 kN per cubic meter. So, the weight of the 100 mm slab is equal to 7.08 kN per meter. After we compute dead load, we have to compute the live loads which acting on slab. Look at the table 1.4, minimum live loads, the live loads for classroom is equal to 1.92 kN per square meter. So, the live loads of the 3 meters slab is equal to 5.76 kN per meter. Hence, the total loads is 12.84 kN per meter. The two-way slab behave the tributary area of loads as you see in the picture. Due to the formula of right triangles, tangent of alpha is equal to opposite side on adjacent side. So, the result of x value is 1.5 meter, and the value of y is 2 meter. From the equation of equilibrium, we assign the up arrow and anti-clockwise as positive. The result of the vertical reaction of Fy is 22.47 kN. Look step by step, and if you have question on this point, comment below and we will solve for you. Go on to side girder A, B, C, D and E. The loads that this beam supports is the vertical reaction of beam and triangular distribution loads. Here is the way that we compute the result to sketch the loading that acts along beam's member. Do you think this video helped you or not? If it is helpful, share this video to your classmates. Don't waste your times. Study, because you still have a chance. Thanks.